Hello guys, welcome to you. In this video, we are going to see how to download and install Ipsen L3150 printer driver in a Windows 7 PC or laptop. It is a very easy and simple process. So let's go to our video. First, we check our machine is 32 bit or 64 bit. That is very easy. Go to the computer, right click on the computer, click on the properties, click on the properties. In properties, find system type. If system type is 64 bit, then that machine is 64 bit operating system machine. If system type is 32 bit, then that machine is 32 bit operating system machine. This machine is 32 bit operating system machine. Close it. After that, we are going to download the, our printer driver and scanner driver. That is very easy. Go to the any web browser that you want. I am going to the Google Chrome. Here, type Ipsen L3150 and hit enter key on your keyboard. First link is from the Ipsen. Open the first link from the Ipsen and Ipsen official website is open. Here we find Ipsen L3150. Here scroll down, scroll down and find operating system. Find your operating system. In operating system, is it not detect my operating system Windows 7 32 bit? So I click at here. And if your operating system is, is Windows 7 64 bit, then go to the 64 bit. If your operating system is 32 bit, then go to the Windows 7 32 bit. I go to the Windows 7 32 bit, click on the go. This page is refresh and new drivers are available now. Scroll down, go to the bottom, and here we find drivers. Click on this drivers plus button, expand drivers. Here we find two drivers, scanner drivers and printer driver. First, we download the our scanner driver. Go to the here. Download, right click on it or click on it and open link in new. A new web website is open of the Ipsen. Click on accept and our download is started at here. It's take few seconds or few minutes. So be a patient and wait for a few minutes. Our download is completed now. Go to the show all, show in a folder. Drag this setup file to desktop, close it. Go to the our web browser once again. Our scanner driver is here. Go to the our web browser. Close it. Close it. Go to the our main web page. And here we find our printer driver. Click on the download. It's redirect you to the another page. Click on accept. Our download is started at here. It's take few minutes or few seconds. So be a patient and wait for a few minutes or few seconds. It's downloaded in few seconds in my case. Click on show all. Show in a folder. Minimize it, drag it to desktop, close it. Here is the our setup file, printer setup file, here is the our scanner file. This setup file, this printer setup file actually a GIF file and we are going to unzip this GIF file. That is very easy, right click on it. Here we find extract files, click on extract files, click on OK, it's extract your files on your desktop, double click on it, double click on it. Here we find WinX86. If you're using 64, then it show WinX64. Double click on it and here is the our drivers. And we are installing this driver manually. You can also install it manually, uh, uh, directly. Go to there and double click, in it, click on it and install it. But perfect ways to install it manually. This not give any kind of error. Click at here and go to the control panel. Click on control panel. In control panel, find devices and printers. Click on devices and printers. Click on devices and printers. Here we find at the top add a printer. Click on add a printer. Click on add a printer. Close it. Here we find add a printer. Add a local printer. Here we find add a local printer. Click on add a local printer. Here we find port, existing port. Click at here and go to the USB. Select any USB that you find. USB 001, 002, 003, 004. Select any USB that you find. Click on the next. Here we find have a dicks. Click on have a dicks. Browse. Go to the desktop. Here we find our newly created folder. Double click on it. Double click on it. Double click on it. Here we find two files. Click on any file. These two files are the our drivers file. Click on any file. Say both are same. Click on open. Click on OK. Here we find Ipsen L3150 series printer. Here we find error. I'm talking about this error. At the start, this driver is not digitally signed. This is the, our error and we fix this error in the next step. Select our Ipsen L3150 series. It is a series printer. Select this. Click on next. You can give any name. I give Ipsen L3150. Click on next. Now error is appear on our screen in few seconds. Here is the, our error. Error is Windows security. Windows cannot verify the publisher of this driver's software. Windows is not public. 
find the publisher of this driver that's why it's giving a giving a error and we are solve this error here we find don't install this driver software if you don't want to install this printer then click at here and if you want to install it then click at here i want to install this printer so i click on install this software anyway and our installation is started there is no problem our error is fixed now in a few seconds our installation is completed so be patient and wait for a few seconds our printer is installed now here we find printer test page if you want to print a test page then click on the printer test page or click on the finish next step is install our scanner driver that is very imp go to the our scanner driver double click on the scanner drivers click on the yes it's accept our zip file and installation is started click on the next accept the terms and conditions click on the next it's installing our scanner driver on our windows 7 pc or laptop it take few seconds wait for a few seconds to installation to complete it it's take less than a few seconds here we find our installation is now complete click on the finish next step is check our printer is properly installed in our windows 11 pc windows 7 pc or laptop go to the start control panel click on the control panel in control panel go to the devices and printers click on devices and printers here you find ipson l3150 if you find ipson l3150 that means your printer is perfectly installed properly installed in your windows 7 pc or laptop so guys thank you for watching this video don't forget to like share comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel thank you guys